Diabetes mellitus is a common chronic condition characterized by elevated blood glucose levels, known as hyperglycemia. This condition is caused by lack of production of insulin by the pancreas and the inability of the body's cells to effectively use insulin. Classic signs of hyperglycemia from uncontrolled diabetes are referred to as the three Ps, meaning polydipsia, polyuria, and polyphagia. There are two major types of diabetes mellitus, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes mellitus is caused by autoimmune destruction of the islet cells in the pancreas that are responsible for producing and releasing insulin. Type 2 diabetes is caused by cellular resistance to insulin or insufficient insulin production by the pancreas. Gestational diabetes is a third type of diabetes that occurs during pregnancy and increases the risk for type 2 diabetes later in life. Risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes include genetics and lifestyle factors. Family medical history, obesity, lack of physical activity, and metabolic syndrome increase the risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Metabolic syndrome refers to a group of conditions that include elevated blood pressure, blood glucose, and triglyceride levels, as well as increased waist circumference that increase the risk of diabetes, coronary heart disease, and stroke. Several serious complications can occur in clients with uncontrolled diabetes, such as coronary artery disease, hypertension, kidney disease, blindness, stroke, neuropathy, and peripheral vascular disease. Neuropathy and peripheral vascular disease can cause circulatory problems in the lower extremities, resulting in foot ulcerations and non-healing foot wounds that may require amputation. Nurses play a key role preventing complications by ensuring proper foot care, coordinating health screenings, and facilitating referrals to specialists when necessary. A serious acute complication of diabetes mellitus is severe hyperglycemia that requires emergency medical care. In type 1 diabetes, or a client with type 2 diabetes whose pancreas is no longer making insulin, this condition is called diabetic ketoacidosis. In type 2 diabetes, where the pancreas is still creating insulin, this condition is called hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state. Both conditions are life-threatening because of severe dehydration and other serious complications requiring emergency care. Common diagnostic tests for diagnosing and monitoring diabetes include fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1C blood tests. The oral glucose tolerance test is another common test that is primarily used to diagnose gestational diabetes. Treatment for diabetes involves medication therapy, such as insulin or other anti-diabetic medications like metformin, sulfonylureas, and GLP-1 receptor agonists. These medications help lower blood glucose levels or improve cellular sensitivity to insulin. In addition to medications, lifestyle modifications such as diet and exercise play a crucial role in managing diabetes. A healthy, carbohydrate-controlled diet and weight management can help maintain stable blood glucose levels while regular physical activity improves cellular insulin sensitivity. Interventions for clients with diabetes focus on closely monitoring blood glucose levels and for signs of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia, as well as administering anti-diabetic medications and providing patient education. Patient education is vital for effective self-management of this chronic condition. Topics include performing blood glucose monitoring, administering insulin, recognizing symptoms of hypoglycemia and rapidly treating it, making healthy diet choices and carb counting, consistently taking medications based on meal times, performing foot care, being physically active, and notifying the healthcare provider of concerning symptoms. Educating clients about these topics empowers them to take an active role in their care, helps prevent complications, and enhances their quality of life. The overall goal in managing diabetes is to maintain stable blood glucose levels within the target range and prevent complications. In conclusion, diabetes management requires a comprehensive multidisciplinary approach that includes medical treatment, lifestyle modifications, and patient education. Through effective management, individuals with diabetes can minimize the risk of complications and maintain quality of life.